the previous video we demonstrated installation and configuration procedure of Apache Zen Apusiki server on Windows environment and in this video I gonna show how to upload link data and query link data using Sparkle so in previous video we show that we configured the Apache Zena Puseki server and put the binary distribution of Puseki in this path. So now we need to format the dataset directory using this command. So we'll first specify the maximum heap size and this ZAR file will be used for starting the Puseki server and I put name of the dataset as dataset1 and this dataset will be formatted inside the data directory so let's issue this command to start the server So here I'll issue this command. So my dataset directory has been formatted inside the data directory and dataset name is dataset1 and server has been started at localhost port number 3030. Now let's move to the local host. So here we can see the graphical user interface of Pusiki 2.3.0 version. So here you can manage your server from the control panel tab or link and there is another option which is validator you can validate your sparkle query if it's really formatted and you can also validate iri and the standard is sparkle 1.1 so at first i'm going to control panel format the data set yes the data set is data set 1 I am selecting the this data set now we have redirected into another local host web page so I can write down sparkle query in this form and I can specify the output as text session XML CSV or TSV format and I can perform Sparkle update actually from Sparkle 1.1 update has been enabled so you can update your dataset as well but before that we'll upload our link dataset to this server so let's up upload a simple link data so I am going to upload link a sample link data. This is track bank extended data set. So I have selected now I'll press upload. So the server will take some time to upload the data set. Yes, the data set successfully uploaded into the server and we can see that there are 318,000 triples in the data set. So we are going back to the Pusekis server. So going to control panel again, selecting the 
data set. Now I will issue a Sparkle query. Say, let's execute the very common and simplest Sparkle query. Select steric where the triples are in subject predicate and object notation and we are not limiting anything so let's get the result in text format the server is taking some time some time because the number of triples is pretty high so it's taking some time to retrieve all the triples yes now here we go we can see the result now we can go back and format our data set to show the result using JSON or XML format. Now you have the freedom to choose and query. So enjoy and thanks for watching.